Katia Essential Training, part 004. We are going to go forward with the following group of features. The first one will be circle. We can define various circles either by using the default one that is circle. So we see that we need to specify a point and after that we need to specify a radius. So this can quickly generate a circle. We can also double click on an existing one and we're gonna see that we have the possibility to either change the radius or we can define the circle using a diameter. So for example, maybe 20 as a diameter. The next one is called three point circle. As the name implies, we're going to define three points. So the first one will be the start point, the second point that the circle will grow, go through, and finally we're going to position the last point that will define the circle. So we can define a circle like this and as well with double click we can go and change some of the elements or we can double click on the constraint and just as before we can, we can change that. The following one is circle using coordinates. We're going to see that, that a dialog window will pop up and we're going to have the position for the horizontal. So in this case, if this will be zero, maybe the vertical minus 50, I can also position the grid and I can define the radius, uh, for example, 20. If I'm going to press tab and now OK, I'm going to see that that circle will be positioned as we see on the grid at 50 millimeter offset from the horizontal and it will be defined by a radius of uh, 20. Having the grid uh, for this is not uh, mandatory. Also, if you're going to double click on any command on Katia, this will allow you to do multiple inputs. For example, I will go now like 50, hit OK. And as soon as I click that OK, I see that another window pops up. That is because uh, I double click on that um, that feature, so that will be bring up um, like in a loop until I decide to cancel this. So now this will no longer be active. Okay, so the next step that um, we can define a circle is called the tritangent circle, as we can see within the feature. We're going to need some additional geometry. So I'm going to define a line like this, another line like this. I can also do another line, but in this case I will choose to define a rectangle. And now if I'm going to select the three uh, tangent circle, I can select all those lines and I will see that Katia will draw that circle that uh, will be tangent to those three uh, lines. And we can also specify the, um, the diameter in this case, uh, it will be 79.992 for those lines. If you go forward, we're going to see that uh, the following feature is called three point arc. And uh, we can define again the first point and after that we see in the bottom left of the screen, click or select the second point the arc will go through. So in this case, maybe this point. And now I can see that using the mouse, I can either draw that part of the length arc or the upper part, depending on the mouse position. And the last, uh, the f not the last, uh, so the last one will be a simple arc, but we have the three point arc starting with limit. From my experience, this is the um, most useful uh, way to define uh, arcs in Katia. So I usually use this uh, most of the, the time because you will define the two points and at the end you can define the radius. And you can further go and uh, constrain th those points as, uh, as you wish further ahead. And the last one is a simple arc and uh, we see that we can specify the point and after that we're going to uh, specify the radius of that circle. And now if I draw the, the mouse, 
I can define the length of that uh, that arc. Okay, so if you find this useful, please consider to to subscribe. I will go through each um, category of um, of features within Katia. We are still in a sketcher mode, so the next one will be regarding splines. This will be a little bit shorter, but I intend to to keep this uh, Katia Essential Training course like this. Okay, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.